and I'm super excited to be here. The lineup for this TEDx talk is incredible. So I'm jealous of all of you who are able to really soak that in. But um, here goes, uh, just to give you context before I get into it, I will be speaking for about 10 to 12 minutes and then I might be performing a few songs as well. So let's do it. <clears throat> Being a teenager is hard. For that matter, being any age is hard. But when you're a teenager, that is the most crucial part of your lifetime where you are forming your identity. Identity comprises many factors. It can be things like your age, your race, your demography, your socioeconomic class, but identity also spans across different spaces. It's your own personal identity. It's your own family identity. And it's also your social identity and the way in which you interact with people around you. Add to that, as a teenager, you are also dealing with puberty, peer pressure, absolutely nobody taking you seriously because of your age, and navigating relationships of all kinds for probably the first time in your life. There is a reason that they call it coming of age. If I go by the Oxford Dictionary definition of coming of age, it means that it's the time when a person formally becomes an adult. But what does that even mean? Does that mean when you hit puberty? If you are somebody who has a uterus, does it mean when you get your periods? Does it mean when you are 18 and have the legal right to vote in most countries? Does it mean when you are 21 and have the legal right to drink in most countries? It is something that constantly we are going through and constantly reinventing ourselves. And age is but just a number. I have seen way too many people not take young folk seriously because they think that a younger age means that they have less life experience, less understanding of the world, and less of an opinion that matters. But to that I say, no matter what, don't let anybody tell you that you are too young to do something because a baby shark is still after all a shark. And if you're a teenager right now watching this, please know that you are not alone. There is many other people going through this weird coming of age, growing up phase and confused about who they are, what they want from life and what they stand for. For the longest time in society, we've had this prescriptive form of growing up, whereby you go to school, then you go to college, then you get a job, then you get married, then you have children, and then you die. And most of these life stages are actually choices, but we feel like they are obligations because that is what is presented to us. Add on top of that Indian society and you have the role of family that comes in in a totally different way, mixing with all of these things together. Take it from someone who is in their early 20s, slowly inching toward my mid 20s, which I'm shit scared about. When I tell you that it's okay to not have it figured out, but also listen to me if you are in the older spectrum, when I say that today's teenagers are different and they have it very different than we did even just a few years ago. Look at how the world's changed. A teenager today is growing up with social media in a way that just a slightly previous generation did not. My younger brother and I have this argument all the time, whether I am a millennial or I'm Gen Z. I firmly believe that I am Gen Z, but if I am Gen Z, I am the grandmother of Gen Z because I am born in 1997, which is the cutoff year. And if you look at any kid that is in that generation, what you will find is that they've grown up on the internet. They've grown up with access and exposure 
that many of us who are just slightly older, let alone even older generations, did not have. And while that's amazing, it also leads to a bunch of different types of issues. For example, when you grow up online and social media is the way in which you interact with the world, your conceptions of what is beautiful, your conceptions of what is normal get completely distorted. Your conceptions of what a relationship look like get completely distorted. And we end up comparing ourselves to others and jealousy, this green envious monster shows up in a way that we've had to deal with in the past, but today is extended into this online cyber world. You have kids as young as 13 getting hate comments from strangers that they don't know. Yes, we've been used to having our nosy neighbors, Sharmaji's wife's Chachi's daughter telling us off about our weight, but we are not used to having it being exposed to the world, no matter how public or private we choose to be. And that has a huge impact on mental health. That has a huge impact on the way that people see one another. And so with this comparison leads to beauty standards, with this comparison leads to FOMO, where we know each other's lives through the internet. We know each other's lives through social media. And if we feel like we are missing out on the story or the meal that somebody else has had, we are missing out on them and their experiences. We enter relationships wishing that we knew what they were before, we knew what the person was before, but guess what? Today, you know what that person is like because all it takes is a quick stock of their social media and you can see all of their past history. You can see all of their past experiences and it's a different world that we're living in completely. But what even is a beauty standard? What even is something that we are comparing ourselves to, whether it be our ideas of beauty, whether it be our ideas of relationships, our ideas of who and what we should be? It changes every few years. And so if we are constantly comparing ourselves to something that is unattainable, something that is R-E-E-L, real, and not R-E-A-L, real. We are putting ourselves into this unending cycle of identifying each of our so-called flaws and comparing it to something on the internet that may or may not be true. When we look at a piece of paper, a fresh piece of paper, if there happens to be a speck of dust a speck of a pen mark on it. That is the thing we focus on. We don't focus on the rest of the clean paper. We focus on the speck. And that is psychologically what we are trained to do. We are psychologically trained to focus on the one flaw, the one imperfection that we have. But you know what? Those things are what make us unique. And the more we let capitalism patriarchy, societal structures dictate what those are, the more we will go into this downward spiral. And so it's about reclaiming the word imperfect into I'm perfect, just the way I am. So I wrote a bunch of songs recently, kind of around these areas and these experiences. And I wanted to perform them for you today. The first of them is a song called Jealous. And I hope you enjoy it. I missed your high school face, the one with the band uniform and the clothes. It's small town days. Hang at the diner with books in your pocket, I ran away. Learn five languages before it hit obvious trouble the world. He pray laugh and I heard and all is it crazy. You lived a whole life before you were mine. And oh I wasn't 
you're first, but you were mine, and you put me first all the time, but I'm jealous of all the people who loved you before me, I'm jealous of all the lips that got to kiss you softly, you say they all led you to me, made you so you were made for me, I'm jealous of all the people who loved you before me. I missed your broken heart The first one I really wish I could have held you under his stars First kiss but I know nothing can compare to one like ours It felt like Paris with you in a dorm room It feels just like bed every night And oh, isn't it crazy You lived a whole life before you were mine and oh, I was in your first, but you were mine, and you put me first all the time. But I'm jealous of all the people who loved you before me. I'm jealous of all the lips that got to kiss you something. You say they all let you to me, made you so you were made for me. I'm jealous of all the people who loved you. I want you all to myself, all to myself, all to myself. I want you all to myself, all to myself, all to myself. I want you all to myself, all to myself, all to myself. I missed you bow tie face. The one where you own one every day. Well, okay. I'm kind of glad I missed that one. <laughs> I'm jealous of all the people who loved you before me. I'm jealous of all the lips that got to kiss you softly. You say they all led you to me, made you so you were made for me. I'm jealous of all the people who loved you before me. I'm jealous of all the people who loved you before me. I'm jealous of all the lips that got to kiss you softly. You say they all let you to me, made you so you made for me. I'm jealous of all the